going on everybody welcome back to jelly goon tv welcome back to all my beautiful viewers and subscribers of course welcome back to the gorgeous jelly goon squad today we have a very special video we're gonna learn about other cultures learn about other aspects of other countries we are gonna visit to brazil today we're gonna react to visit brazil 10 things that will shock you about brazil now the only thing that i know about brazil is the beautiful women that's all i know the beautiful carnivals the beautiful dancing the beautiful beaches it is just a gorgeous thing also know some negative side about Brazil, but that's not what we're gonna highlight right now. We're gonna highlight the beautiful sides of every single country because I think the stereotypes and the negativities are so much overbroading the countries. They are so much taking over the country's identity, and I don't want to let let it do that. Brazil, of course, there's some negative things, but there are so many, so many positive and beautiful things about Brazil, and we're gonna take into that with our beautiful host right here. He's gonna learn us about Brazil, so it's gonna be amazing, gonna be awesome. Let's get into the video. No, this video is not gonna get many views. I don't care. I just want to bring in a, a broader audience and really just learn about culture, learn about different countries. So let's get into it, let's go. Oi fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World today. We're in Mariana, Brazil wow. for the 10 things that are gonna shock you about visiting Brazil. And I bet you didn't think you'd see churches like this beautiful. in Brazil. What? You thought it was all just, you know, beaches and bikinis. Yeah. You know, there's so much more to shock you about Brazil. But anyway, let's get started with our list of the 10 things that are gonna shock you. Okay, oh wait, here's the first thing that's gonna shock wait, you when you come to that. Brazil. Given the okay sign, might get you punched in the really? face. Because the okay sign here in Brazil is worse than asshole. the middle finger, so do not use it. it. I remember the first time I came to Brazil and somebody let us go through. I go, oh, thanks, okay. And my friend reached across the car and said, what are you doing? We're going to get beat up. I'm like, what? I said it's okay. No, no. Brazil, this is not okay. <laughs> Brazil, you always give the uh, thumbs okay, up, all right? Okay. So that's the first thing that's going to shock you. You can get punched in the face for giving the okay <laughs> symbol. Yeah. Now, the second thing that might shock you about Brazil is, let's put it this way. You don't mean to bring your modesty when you come here. You will see more skin here in Brazil than you ever thought you would mm. when you go to the beach because it's all yeah. about having the smallest bikini to show the most amount of skin. Let me pause here. Because it's art in itself, Brazilian people really do love their bodies. They love the body contact. They love all these things. And it's very a beautiful art itself. Like, the body is not only sex. It's also an art work. Like, look at my body, how beautiful it is, how much work I put into it and all these things. It's not only about sex, and that's the point of it. That's what I know about Brazil. Like, they really do love being naked. They love, you know, having the tiniest bikini in the whole world. And it's, I think it's beautiful. I think it's very nice, you know, looking at some beautiful women. I love my fiance, of course, but still, yeah. I should shut up now before I die. Let's go. And there's no fat shaming here. That's why mm. I love this place. It is my favorite country to go to, by the it way. Is beautiful. People ask me, Brazil's my favorite. And you can't, there's there's no modesty here. People will talk about anything. They'll make jokes about nice. anything. You might think, oh, that's not political crap. That's a no, they're, they're, they're pretty hilarious amazing. here with all these things. But the thing is, the modesty, you're gonna see a lot of skin <laughs> here. And that's one way you can tell the tourists at the beach. Yeah. Tourists have more stuff true. covered. Brazilians yeah. have true, less true, stuff true, covered true, true, at the true. beach, okay? okay? Uh -huh. I won't show any pictures whoa, whoa, of me at the beach because ninguém merece it. No one deserves that, okay? But that's the same thing that's going to shock you is all the Why skin you you're going to see. Never mind. And no need to bring the modesty in your suitcase, all right? <laughs> Now, the third thing that's going to shock you when you come here is kind of the laid back attitude here. Look, nothing happens quickly in Brazil. <laughs> you want the bill? Hey, I need the bill quickly. This, yeah, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Take your time, <laughs> yeah, okay. okay? You're going to get a bus ticket or a train ticket or something like that. Look, I think they actually cut down a whole tree for each set of train tickets and bus tickets they print out for you. <laughs> it takes a long time. Getting the bill, getting to places on time. Well, on time means I say 9 o'clock, it means 10 o'clock. Yeah, and what? no one's upset about that. Really? So make sure you come here and realize you're going to have to chill out, okay? And it does shock tourists when they come here because they expect, hey, things are going to happen quickly. No, it's all about the laid back nature here, right, Caleb? Yes. Yes, okay, so even Caleb nice. knows. Now, the that fourth thing that shocks man. you, this Let actually me pause shocked me. So, Brazilian, you, you're not supposed to count on Brazilians to come on time. That is kind of funny to hear because I thought Brazilians was like that, but they lay back, lazy. Not lazy, but just like, relax, calm the fuck down, man. You have your whole life in front of you. But, wow, amazing to know. I did not know that about Brazil. Amazing fact. Let's go. Me is... If your beer isn't cold, you can send it back. In Brazil, really? you drink your bean, bean gelado. That is amazing. Well 
chilled or beige la gina, really, really, really <laughs> chilled. And if the beer isn't super cold, you can actually send it back. This really? isn't like in Europe where it's like a little bit cold or the US was kind of cold. Here, you'll see in the refrigerators where they sell the beer, it'll have the temperature on there. And seriously, you might have a little ice crystal here and there, what? but if it isn't cold enough, you can send it back, okay? And that kind of shocks people, hey, my, my beer is in Benja Lagina, send it back, and they're totally mm. okay with that because I know it's got to be really cold. Now, the fifth thing that'll shock you when you come here are the mosquitoes. Look, we're here in the winter of Brazil. I mean, obviously, obviously winter. I'm in, in t-shirts and stuff and like that. And then they show him. And really. we haven't had too many mosquito problems, but I've, I've been in Brazil during mosquito season, and I had my bracelet with the, with the anti-mosquito stuff, <laughs> mosquito spray. You notice the boys are all covered up for mosquitoes just in case, spray like that. And literally, I remember in the Pantanal, I, I could see where my where my spray stopped working because there was like a shield of mosquitoes there. So mosquitoes can be really, really bad, especially so when you're coming really? in the summer, make sure you bring your DEET, you know, what your, your bug spray with DEET and your, your wristbands that fight off bug stuff because you really need that here. Even oh, the Brazilians will tell you the pretty that. longos, that's mosquitoes, so can't get a lot you. And there's ones that are okay. a hell of a lot tougher than they have in the US and <laughs> Europe that'll really get you. So you will be yeah. shocked about how crazy the mosquitoes can be when you come here in the summer. Let okay? me pause here. So that's actually very annoying for me. I don't like mosquitoes because they have a lot of diseases with them. They have a lot of things, but it's not, these are the things that is negative, of course, about the country, but it's not supposed to stop you back. It's not supposed to just be prepared of what it is, man. I will probably have 10 liters of freaking mosquito killing, you know, breed with me just to make sure that I don't get stung by these mosquitoes man because mm, it's annoying to get stung let's go now the sixth thing that might literally shock you <laughs> are the electric showers here in Brazil you might be going to like a posada kind of like a bed and breakfast smaller hotel kind of thing or staying at someone's house and using one of their 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 showers or maybe you're in the Pantanal or Amazonas and you'll be taking a shower and you'll look up and you'll see on your metal shower head or something like that, there's some wires, electrical wires going into the wall. Or better yet, going into a plug, you're thinking, wait, I'm gonna turn the water on while it's connected to electricity? Yes, they have electric <laughs> showers here. Is it everywhere? Probably if you're at a hotel, you won't see it so much. But if you're gonna do some of that adventure tourism, getting out and seeing the beauty of Brazil, you will see some of those electric showers. You will wow. be okay, it's just sometimes you're like, I don't know if I feel safe doing this. It does yeah. kind of shock people. You won't get shocked, True. but it can be shocking. One word of advice, if you are gonna use those electric showers, turn the water on just a little bit because if you put the water on too much, it can't heat the water as much, so the hot shower won't be as hot. Mm. So just turn a little bit of water on okay. so when the water comes through, it can heat all of that nice. there, okay? Now, the next thing that's gonna shock you is, da da da, you don't throw the toilet paper down the toilet. The toilet paper is for that trash can next really? to the toilet. Look, the pipes in Brazil, maybe not the best ones out there, maybe not big enough. I don't know the true reason behind it. Maybe it just can't handle it. But you have to realize, you might be shocked if you do throw your used toilet paper in the trash can next really? to you. And I've seen it at airports, at bars, at restaurants. You do throw it in there because the pipes can't take it. And that can be a bit shocking mm. for some people going, Wait, I put my toilet paper in there? So when you go to your hotel, you might ask them, hey, do I do I use the toilet? Do I put my toilet paper in the toilet? Or do I put it in the trash can by the toilet? So that can be kind of shocking, especially for Americans when they come here going, wait, what's that? It's not everywhere, yeah, but it can fact, be a man, bit um, yeah, yeah, interesting. Yeah, exactly. Now the eighth thing that might yeah. shock you when you come yes. here is, wow. yes, the Brazilians are just as crazy and just as fun and just as awesome as you've heard about on TV, really? radio, music, all this kind of stuff. Brazilians are awesome. They will show you their country nice. they will show you around they'll like tell that. you what to eat they'll tell you you shouldn't be eating that you should be eating this they, they'll yell at you your beer is not cold enough throw that away they are that is beautiful man brazilians really do love their country so therefore when tourists they come to the countries they're really you know eager to show what is going on in their country i think it's very beautiful man that's nice that is so gorgeous man wow Love Brazil. Let's go. Crazy, insane fun. Especially if you can come at Carnival when they really go nuts. Carnival is fantastic. And you'll be shocked about how much skin, how much music, how much loudness, all this kind of stuff you <laughs> have here in Brazil. It all comes that together there. But it really comes from the people because they love their music. The music here is awesome. And the vibe of the people is just so crazy that you'll be shocked. Just, wow, these people really are super nice. That's nice. No, they probably won't speak much English, but you'll still be able to communicate with them yes, okay because nice. they are like so that, friendly and so helpful that you will be all right, all nice. right? 
Now, the ninth thing that'll probably shock you to death when you come to Brazil is driving. Look, driving Brazil, I don't recommend it. Take the bus, <laughs> fly with cool, really? do whatever, take a taxi. They drive crazy, don't right? Don't drive on your own because it can be white knuckle, oh my God, as semis swerve like this on the highways and yeah. people are running across Let me the pause here. That is in Bangkok too, man. The Bangkok traffic is just freaking crazy. You don't hold back for anybody. You just move along as it goes, man. And you just hope that you survive to where you go. It is amazing that people could drive like this. I think it's very beautiful, but it's a part of the culture of the thing of the country what they do how they do it is it's a part of it and it's really beautiful to observe what is going on but sometimes when you come from a country where everybody is really respectful for each other not respectful but like they have laws where you hold back and you do all these things in Bangkok and Brazil, apparently, they don't do that. In Paris, they make their own, too. It's crazy. They park like shit. It is just really amazing cultural aspect to see, man. It's just it's just something new to really, you know, interest about it. And that's how it is to, you know, come to another country. And that's what you learn about it. So let's go. Highways and stuff like that. And it can be really, really, like, heart attack inducing when, you, when you're driving here. Also, when you are in the bigger cities, like Sao Paulo, Rio, you may think, oh, I found a parking spot. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. They'll be a guy there saying oh no come this way come this way and he'll say oh i saved this part this parking spot for you uh for, for you my buddy and you got to tip the guy a couple of reals i mean the nicer the place is the more you tip them otherwise something bad might happen to your car but seriously the drive in brazil will give you a heart attack okay the tenth thing that's going to shock you when you come to brazil is you can literally swim with jacare i.e alligators what? and piranhas no. if you're going to the pantanal one of my favorite I'm experiences good. is just floating on in no, down the pantanal and my no, friend fernando you. tells me mark look behind you and i look behind me and there's a jacare the alligator's no, head you. is like here for me to the camera okay and i'm like <laughs> I just kind of no, moved over. It's I'm like, good. oh no, they're kind of docile here. Remember, everything's kind of laid back. Even the alligators are a bit chilled <laughs> the out. Alligators here, okay? like, nah. <laughs> but it was just kind of like, oh my god, you can actually swim with these guys, mm. and and you can go with the piranhas. They won't eat you. You can fish for piranhas. I'm not, actually, no. taste pretty good. So that's kind of crazy. Do that. Definitely now, not. of course, you know I'm really bad at math. You know, my PhD is in <laughs> banking, so you know fuzzy math works for me. So our ten shocks, I'm gonna give you a couple extra ones. The eleventh thing that will shock you here is one of the things that will kind of like open your eyes is the inequality in Brazil. You will see the favelas, yeah. uh, the shanty towns here, and you'll see, wow, there is a lot of poverty here in Brazil. And you'll be like, wow, there's so much poverty, but there's so much potential, there's so much stuff here that it does, it is kind of shocking. And when you're in Rio, you really see the, the favelas going up the hills. Other places like Sao Paulo, you don't see it so much. It's on the outskirts, but when you travel around the country, you do see that inequality. So if you can't help people out, do help people out, okay? And the 12th thing, let's stop. Okay. We'll, we'll finish with something happy. That's nice. The 12th thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is how much weight you're gonna put on when you're here. <laughs> because, boys, have you liked the food here? Yeah! Yeah, the boys have liked the food here quite that's a bit. Nice. Here, come here, Liam. So the boys have liked the food here quite a bit. So Liam, he's been eating the linguiça, which is the nice. sausage. What about the sorvete? You like the ice cream here? Yeah, the ice cream here, pau de queijo. He's been eating up so much. I think he's gotten like gained like 10 pounds while he's here. What? I think I gained crazy, 10 pounds. Man. There's so much great food when you're here from the meat. Picanha. Oh, you gotta have a little bit of yeah, the steak with a little bit of fat on it. It's so good. See, Caleb can hardly carry Liam now. <laughs> The food, the That's fruit, cute. the meat. There's food here you've never even I like the way of. he interacts the with Cheese the kids. Oh, we have That's that. Nice, Pizza Hut. Good father. Now, pow the cage is this special kind of wow. bread they make with cheese. Ooh. It is fantastic. It the fruits here. Did you know cashew nuts actually are in a fruit and it's on the top of the fruit and they make f juices out of that? Really? There's so much great food. Here in Minas Gerais, for me, it's the best food out there with beans and oh. rice. And I guess you'll be shocked how many beans and rice you will eat here. There's so many great things and all the regions around Brazil have different food. In your Bahia, have a carajé, this bean paste fried thing with dried shrimp inside. Oh my God, it's so good. But you will love it. And you'll be shocked how much you too will fall in love with Brazil when you are here nice. because I'll be honest the people the food everything about this place is fantastic don't be scared about Zika or, or yes there are there is crime here you got to be careful but don't let that keep you away because mm. this place is fantastic so anyway we all want to say hey guys come here <laughs> now that we got the whole family here we just want to say bye from Brazil it's a fantastic place find us on Facebook Instagram all kinds of stuff all kinds of great more videos on visiting Brazil fantastic place anyway Bye from Brazil. Adeus. 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 Wow, Brazil is really amazing, man. What a beautiful thing. But of course, there's a lot of 
things going on in Brazil, like, you know, crime rate, all these things. And yes, there are many poor people. That's what I expected by the stereotypes about Brazil. But Brazil has so much to offer. Like, it's just beautiful. There's so much beautiful food, so much, you know, like people in Brazil just don't care. Apparently, it looks like like they do care, but they just, you know, they relax. They have a good time. You know, the people around there, as he said, is good. And, you know, I can't wait to experience it myself. I want to go to Brazil, but not one of the most best countries that I want to go to. It's not really necessary for me to go to there, but I really wanted to, of course, no doubt. But there's other countries that I want to visit first just to see the landscape, just to see the things. I'm much more into European color, Asian culture, you know, Eastern culture, European culture, you know, all this stuff. So yeah. Anyway, guys and girls, that was a beautiful video. Please comment down below if you ever been to Brazil. I would love to know. It'll be a very, very good, uh, good comment if you have. Please explain to me what happens in Brazil. Do you know anybody from Brazil? Please comment down below. Also, please hit the like button down below. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want to support the channel, of course. And uh, I'm going to see you until the next one. Peace.